Hi, boys and girls, and moms and dads, and grandmas and grandpas. It's great to be with you again on this Wednesday evening. And we hope you had a wonderful Easter Sunday, and we hope you were able to be with us and join in our King's Kids time together then as we did our resurrection eggs. <clears throat> hey, I got a question for you. Who arose from the grave on Easter Sunday? Jesus! That's right. Okay. Hey, I've got um, some names to mention because um, I hope you guys are all getting your cards, or I hope you've all got your cards that I mailed out, but i um, got a special thing to talk about today. Evie Hoffman has a birthday today, so we're going to sing happy birthday to her in a minute, and Memphis has got a birthday this week too, so we're going to sing happy birthday to both of them, but i got a quick little story to tell you about Evie. When we uh, went past, well, no, her mom texted me and showed me a video, and Evie's not even in our class yet. She's still in the toddler room, and she's going to be coming over when we start meeting together again. And she'll be three then, because she's turning three today. But she's learning the Jesus cheer already, and her mom was videotaping it. And it was pretty funny, but she's getting it. So she's practicing on that Jesus cheer, and she's not even in here yet. Go, Evie. So um, let's sing happy birthday to Evie and Memphis right now. Sing with us, boys and girls, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evie and Memphis. Happy birthday to you. Yay! We hope you have a great day, Evie. Um, and Memphis, on in the week. So we've, we've been hearing from others. Um, Carter and Cooper, he's, they've got their card, and so have your mom give me a text if, you, if you've got, it, got your card in the mail, okay? And I, th I think most of your parents have my phone number. And Tatum and Allie still watching, Max, Evie Varnes, Oliver, Eli, Mackenzie, I think you guys are all watching, so if I didn't mention your name, give me a text and let me know you're watching, okay? And if you make one of those activities, um, that we're going to talk about in a minute. Why, take a picture and have mom send it to me. Okay, so we're going to go into our memory verse now, and I think you probably remember what it is, but we're going to do it in a special way, okay? Let's say it one time, and then see if you can find something to shake. Sarah and I is going to shake some scarves, but you can shake anything, a dish towel, a wash rag, dad's old dirty sock, whatever you can find laying around to shake, and we're going to shake those things as we sing our memory verse song, okay? All right, we're going to say it one time, how good it is, how good it is to sing praises to our God. To sing praises to our God. Okay, grab something and we're going to sing it together.
Okay, did you boys and girls enjoy your your worship time again? You were up and moving, I hope, dancing all over the place. We got you all warmed up with those scarves, so uh, we hope you're getting that blood flowing today. So you'll be ready to help mom and dad with all those chores when, when we're done here. So um, we're in our story today. If you were able to be with us last Sunday, and I hope you were for Easter Sunday, I hope you got to see uh, our, we told the Bible story in, with our resurrection eggs, that we told the whole story, and we would, Sarah would open up a different egg, and it would be a different little figurine, and we went through the whole story of Easter that way. So, and Sarah, let's kind of recall, what was in that very last egg? The white egg, it was empty. There was nothing in it. There was nothing. So that's kind of where our story begins, but we're going to back up just a little bit so we can get to that empty tomb, okay? So you remember that Jesus died on the cross, and right after that, they put him in that tomb, and it was kind of in the side of a, of a cave, and it's just a burrowed-out place where they put Jesus' body in that tomb and and it's they said the bible says it was kind of in a garden so we've got some flowers around there and so the stone the roman soldiers came and put that stone sarah's got the stone over there the stone is in front of the of the entrance to the cave and jesus's body is in there <clears throat> do you remember that jesus had told his disciples that after how many days, count with me, I'm going to put my fingers up, count with me, one, two, three, after three days, he would arise from the grave, he would arise from the dead, and so that's kind of where we're starting, <gasps> look what's happened, what happened to our, our grave, the stone, the stones rolled away. So that's where we're going to start our story. Mary, the very the third day, at the morning of the third day, it was still kind of dark out. Mary comes to the tomb and she's going to anoint Jesus' body with oil. That's what they did back in those days when someone died. And Mary had brought oils with her and she came to the tomb and she sees that the stone has been rolled away. And about that time, she, she looks and she sees that the body is gone. The clothes are there, but the body is gone. And all of a sudden, she starts crying and she's upset. And two angels come and they say, why are, why are you crying? And she said, Jesus' body is not in the tomb anymore. I don't know. Someone's come and taken it away, and I don't know what they've done with him. And she's crying so hard, and she's upset. And someone said, Mary, why are you crying? And she said, Sir, if you've taken him away, please tell me where you've put him. And Jesus said her name again, Mary. And when Jesus said her name like that, she realized, she looked up and she saw that it was Jesus that had spoken to her. And she said, Jesus, you're alive. And she was so happy. And Jesus told her, she said, Jesus, or Mary, go tell the others that I have risen, that I am alive. So she ran to tell the other disciples. And you know, they didn't, they, did, they just couldn't hardly believe it. They still didn't remember that Jesus had told them this was going to happen. And the other two ran, they ran, to, two of them ran to the tomb. It was um, John and Peter and they go to the empty grave, they see the stones gone, and they look in, and all they see is the grave clothes. Jesus' body is not there. He 
has risen. And so they go back and they tell the other disciples who was staying in a room that he had risen. He is alive. So at Easter time, that is why every time we have such joy in knowing that, yes, Jesus did die on the cross, but no, he did not stay dead. He arose after the third day, and he's alive, and he, and he loves us. He lives in our hearts, doesn't he? So each, each Easter, we get to celebrate this time, and we remember Jesus and what he went through for us, but how the story ends up so wonderful because he's alive. And, you know, we, another thing we remember at Easter time, we see it all around us. We see, well, we see some flowers right there in the garden, don't we? If you get to look outside your windows and you can see things are changing, there's new life all around us. And it always happens around Easter time. The trees are starting to bud and the flowers are starting to bloom. And if you get to drive with your parents out in the country, you will see new baby animals. There's new life there. Baby cows, baby piggies, baby goats, baby chicks, baby ducks, all kinds of babies. So we have new life all around us. And it reminds us, Jesus told Mary, go tell the others, I'm alive. We want to tell others. Jesus wants us to. We've become like Jesus' disciples, where we have an opportunity to tell everyone about Jesus, that he's alive and he loves them. So how about we go to the table over there where we do our crafts, and we have an activity that you're going to get to make if you can do that at home. And Sarah's going to show you how to make it. So let's go. Okay, boys and girls, this is a craft that it's a little messy, moms and dads, sorry about that, but it'll be fun for them if they can do it. So we just started, I started out with a full piece of construction paper. I, I chose yellow, but any color will work. And here's what I ended up with. We're just making a butterfly. It just shows again the new life, the things that God gives us each season as they roll around, new life. And uh, butterfly is one of them, so we thought it'd be fun to make a butterfly. So we, I actually cut the construction paper in half so that it's a little smaller. And you start out, you think you would start out decorating at first, but actually you start out just scrunching it all up. And Sarah's going to show you how that goes. And you just scrunch it all up, and you're making, you're actually making the wings. And now she's going to take a pipe cleaner, and she's just going to wrap it all around there and... Turn it around again. You can even twist it and put the whole thing around it again if you want. Depends on how long you want your little butterfly antennas. Okay, she's doing it that way. Yeah, she's getting it all twisted around there. And she's going to make those little antennas at the top. And you can, you can readjust those when you get done. But it's much easier now. In King's Kids, we spread some glue out. We don't really use glue sticks a lot. We get the old glue and the paintbrush out. And she's going to just put some, spread some glue out on her wings. And we should have got a bigger brush, shouldn't we? The bigger the brush, the quicker that's going to go on. But just spread your glue on. And I, got gl I have had glitter glue because uh, I grabbed this at home. But you can use any kind of, any kind of white glue. And just spread it all on the wings wherever you're going to want it. And then you can sprinkle it with anything else. If you have glitter or confetti, that's, that's kind of how I decorated mine. But if you don't have these things, you can take little pieces of tissue paper, toilet paper, whatever, construction paper, and wad them up and glue them and stick them. You could put stickers on your butterfly. Or I can just really anything to decorate it all up. Or you could even draw before you put the wings, before you scrunch the wings together. If you're going to draw, you'd want to do that first. Okay, look, she's got it all decorated. And then, of course, you're going to have to let it set and dry. So there you have it. New life in a butterfly. And you can put that in your room when you get it all done. 
And each day you get up and look at it, and you can think, I have new life in Jesus. Okay, so boys and girls, we're ending our time together today. We're so thankful that you have joined us. And moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandma and grandpas, whoever's out there, we're glad that you were with us. And, and again, continue into that the ending of our Easter story. And we've got some, um, some activities. We've got a color page, which also has the story on the back. And this is a new color page, different from what you have, than what you received for Sunday. And it shows uh, Mary at the tomb with Jesus, seeing Jesus alive. And the story's right on the back, so if you want to reshare it with your child, you can do that. And then um, also, the other activity page we have, it goes with the butterfly, and it tells you on here when you download it, it tells you kind of a different way to make your butterfly, and I didn't like it because it said to do it inside a Ziploc bag, and it looked like a mess to me. I would much rather get glue out and really make a mess. So, so we made it this way instead of the way it tells. But it, this activity page also has another another page that I kind of drew off and it is a picture of the empty tomb and it says at the bottom Jesus is alive and it's just another thing that uh, boys and girls you can decorate up you see the trees don't have any leaves on it and our leaves are starting to get on our trees so you got to put leaves on there and you can decorate and put flowers all around uh, around that one so we've got a couple we've got like three different things that you'll be able to download and so remember that link is at the bottom of the, of the in the description and you can just print those off and have a good time this week with those so let's pray before we end it all right let's bow your heads father god we just come to you and lord we just thank you for this time again that you've given for us to be together to open up your word to see the truth that you have written to all of us that you are alive and that you love us so much we just praise you today, Lord. We thank you for each boy and girl that is a part of this class and that might be watching also. And we ask that you bless their lives, that you protect them, Lord, this week and their parents and their families and friends. And just be with us, Lord, and just draw us closer to you. We love you so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Um, we love and miss you so much. And we just hope that you keep on joining us every Wednesday and every Sunday as we share Jesus with you. Bye-bye. Have a great week.